guys, I'm doing something a little bit different this Thursday. I am going to do my style session while talking. Um, I've been doing the no talking speedy videos for my Thursday style session and I thought I would try something a little bit different this week and just do just style three different outfits. My style session is revolving around this green bla blazer from J. Crew Factory. Now J. Crew also has one, but it's a little more oversized. It does not have buttons and the sleeves are wider. So if you'd rather wear it over top, at kind of more like a coat, um, that's an option. But for me, I feel like I like the slim fit of this one a little better. So, um, and the price point is less. Um, so if you're looking for a sweater blazer, J. Crew has some wonderful ones and the, the collar on them actually stands up. So um, gives it kind of a little bit of a nice edgier kind of look maybe or sophist more sophisticated. Anyway, I took this I took this look out of um, off of an email. I had I think it was an email or I saw it on Pinterest or Instagram somewhere. And this lady was wearing um, these flared pants with a pair of leopard loafers and well similar to what I'm wearing with um, I think she had a, a blue necktie on anyway uh, I thought I would try to emulate her look a little bit and so I'm gonna take a picture side by side and show you where I got the um, idea from on how to style this I'm gonna try to come up with um, some more unique ways on styling the blazer of course typically you would put um, more of a, a plain top I would think under it because it is such a loud color it's it's more of the statement of the outfit so I'm gonna try to do something a little more unique though I will post everything however some things I may not be able to find so these jeans I will be able to find some similar from Madewell but I don't believe this exact style is available anymore and I always size down one from my typical size which is um, 29 uh, and I size down to a 28 whenever I buy Madewell. Moving on to this shirt, it's an old American Eagle. I will try to post a long sleeve button up light blue shirt and then this is Madewell and um, the sweater blazer runs true to size. These loafers are actually, they look like Steve Madden, but I got them from Walmart last year, super inexpensive, so I'll post some similar to that as well. Did want to make mention, if you are layering, make sure that as you take the layers off, you still like, and I got this from, from Carla Reed, but um, I wanted to say, make sure you still like the layers that are on underneath, because if you're layering and it looks great together, that's fine, but if you get hot and you have to start taking off layers, you want to make sure that each layer looks nice and flows and works. Now I'm going to show you what this outfit looks like with some boots. Wanted to show you when you are putting on boots and you have flare jeans on, I typically don't grab for flare jeans, but I know some people prefer flare jeans and possibly even full length flare. Um, but these are kind of a, a newer concept, I think, that just came out not, not too terribly long ago. I've never worn cropped flare jeans in my life. So it's, it's, um, I'm still getting used to it kind of thing. But one of the tricks I've learned is to bunch your pants up like I did, fold them over, and pull a sock over, and then put on your boot when you're wearing loose legged pants at the bottom. Your boot just pulls on much easier. Um, it helps if your, your pants are just loose at the bottom and not loose all the way through. I was thinking about sending them back, but um, I just can't get over the quality of the, the material and they do not ride down. They look scrunched up at the bottom, but that's as far as they go. They are wonderful. So I will post a link to these. If you're looking for a good boot, um, one that you can dress up or down, these are it. And I like that they um, go right below the, the knee. They're not super short, but they're not super long too. So anyway, here you go. This is still the first outfit, just a change of shoes changes the whole look. I just wanted to show you that it is definitely possible to wear this um, more as a casual um, thing. Blazers don't always have to be dressed up just because they're a blazer and the fact that it's a sweater makes it a little more casual. And this neck 
could be flipped down. I like it flipped up, but um, there's really nothing unique about this. Um, it's, it's pretty basic. I put on my black uh, Madewell um, bodysuit, the one like, like the gray one that I have. Um, I went ahead and got the black as well. This look can be achieved with a turtleneck, um, a striped, white and black striped shirt under it. It's just um, any basic top, but probably fitted would look better, especially with high rise dark jeans. I know that I said I wanted to try some more unique ways, but I thought a lot of people like to be casual, so it was important for me to show you some casual and easy ways. And I almost did a white and black striped shirt instead of this bodysuit, but I thought having a black bodysuit might be fun because for my next look, I'm going to do, I'm going to add a brown belt and some brown be um, boots to just dress it up a little bit. Here it is with some boots. Look how it's changed just with some boots and a belt added. Totally um, made to change. I have to be honest, this kind of reminds me, look, makes me think that I'm gonna be going to ride a horse. <laughs> if that's bad, I'm sorry, but actually I think this outfit's pretty cute. I'm kind of excited about this. I forgot to mention that these jeans are the curvy Everlane jeans. They are a very nice fit, great wash, very versatile. Um, I'd get these again, hands down. This is an old belt from Banana Republic and I will um, go ahead and link another belt similar from Madewell, a, a really great belt, but I don't need a, one from Madewell at this point because I have a nice one from Banana Republic. These boots are new for me this year. They're Lucky brand and they have a little bit of a heel. Um, I think one and a half to two inches, if I can remember. I, didn't, I won't go over two inches. I just feel like it's too much for me. So these are perfect. Great leather. I like the structure. And um, I actually wore them last Saturday to church and they held up and were comfortable the whole time. So anyway, still the same look, just different shoes and a belt. Okay, I'm starting to have a problem because every time I go in my closet, I'm finding more and more looks that I'm really digging. and um, But this is gonna have to be the last. I am gonna switch out my shoes like I did for the previous two outfits so you can see um, how shoes make a difference. But um, the focus is the green sweater blazer. And as I said before, I did get this from J. Crew Factory and it does run true to size. I got the small. These are some Abercrombie & Fitch jeans and these have been so great. I can wear these like my Madewell jeans over and over again without having to wash them. So they are wonderful jeans and I'll have those linked as well. Now this is a um, cardigan, 100% cotton from Gap. This is a new purchase, recent, like um, within, the next, within the last three months I got this. Realistically, probably two months. Anyway, it's 100% cotton and it is a cardigan and I thought it'd be fun to put a cardigan under here. So. Um, a little bit, um, I would say this is a little more unique than the last look that I had. And then some sneakers just for a little bit more of a casual feel. And if I take off this, so the sweater blazer is kind of worn more like a jacket in this case. So if I take it off, I'm still going to like the layers underneath. And now I'm gonna, um, you've heard me talk about these shoes before. And um, they, I, go, I went down a half size in them so um, nine and a half, so I'm normally a 10, and they're from DSW, and I'll have these linked as well. And, and I forgot to mention the cardigan. The cardigan is true to size. I did originally have an extra small, but it seemed a little snugger, a little more snug than what I, than I wanted the, it to be, so I um, sized up to my regular size, which is a small. Here is this look with boots. I actually think I like the boots better than the sneakers, however, if you're wanting a more of a casual feel, the sneakers are, are fine. Um, you know, as I said before, I could have styled this blazer in so many ways. This is the first time I've pulled it out of my closet to do a style session with it, and I was surprised at how many things I came up to um, came up with to go with it. So um, I'm pretty excited. I was going to put it over a dress. However, um, I think I need to stop here and um, maybe do the dress style session with a blazer later. 
Um, well, hope you guys had fun watching this and maybe learned some different things about green sweater blazers. Anyway, until next time, have a good one. Bye.